Hey guys, we're back here on uh, B Rad Games and More. We're going to do another tutorial. Uh, the other day on a Facebook group that I'm a member of, um, I had a question from a young man on how to export, how to get objects from Giants Editor into Blender. And so I am just going to show. I tried to explain it to him. Um, I don't know if if he was able to do it. He never replied. So he said that he couldn't find. Um, a video out there that uh, on YouTube that would help him. So, I in this day and age, I'm kind of surprised that he, um, that there wouldn't be, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna take um, my grapple bucket out of my zipped folders. I'm gonna open it up in Giant's Editor, and I'm gonna export objects so I can then open it in Blender. Hope I said that right. Then I'm going to open it in Blender and I'm going to add a headache rack. So um, here it is in my mods folder, Grapple version 1. And I had two. One is the first one should be non not textured. And then this one should be textured. So this is the one that Justin sent back to me. So you can't work in zip folders you have to unzip them so if you're using winrar or winzip that process is basically the same it's just a diff different program so you right click on it get on winzip you have a choice extract to if you want to put it specifically somewhere extract to here you, you don't want to do that because it will unzip the file and then it will explode all the files throughout these files and then extract a folder is the best choice because it's going to put it in a folder in this mods folder so we should be able to go up here and it'll be at the top that's just how mine is organizing so we can take it out of here we go cut and paste it to our desktop and get rid of this window we are done with that Now this is the files that, uh, and I don't know if I explained this, but when I made my grapple bucket, I piggybacked my objects on top of uh, another mod, and that's pretty common in making mods, is that you find a comparable mod that will have everything you need as far as attacher joints. Um, pivot joints, hydraulic cylinders, um, stuff that you're going to need and then you import your objects that you created into that and then you use it as the base and then you you basically are um, you're just modifying an already existing mod so this mod was out there, it was a the brand is uh, a cock and son, and the um, cock grief shovel was the closest one to what I needed. So this is what I used. So I pull this up, and this is going to be the mod that. Oh, and so we don't have any lights on, so we go create light source. <coughs> now in Giant's editor to navigate around you use primarily the middle mouse button we hold down the middle mouse button and oh let me first explain you scroll in and out with your middle mouse button scroll up scroll down you hold down alt and you can side shift by alt middle mouse button down and you can side shift alt and left mouse button and you rotate okay so what we want to do is because the um, we probably don't need to take the whole thing into blender we can just take this section because this is the section that's going to get the headache rack attached to it 
we really don't need to take the arms unless there's something that we want to add to it and right now I don't need to so we're just gonna take the bucket so we're gonna highlight that and go file export selection and we want to take it out as a wavefront object and we will label it a bucket as a wavefront object and we're just gonna put it on our desktop okay so right now it has <coughs> taken the i3d converted it to a wavefront object and it should be waiting for us on the desktop so we close out of this we don't need to save it and we will close this because we don't need that we'll just slide this grapple file over to the side and here's our bucket object we'll go up here to my modding folder because this is where I keep my blender we'll open blender I have version 2.76 now this default cube shows up very first thing hit X delete now you'll notice this is the scene okay and so it has a camera and it has a lamp but you really don't need that so let's camera shift lamp and then X and delete them both. We don't we don't need them. File. We're gonna go down here to import. Click on that. We'll go over here to wavefront object. Click on that. Now on the left hand side you have your file directories from C drive, D drive, E drive, Z drive. Z drive is my recovery. And, and it'll be specific to your computer. Okay. So system bookmarks, I, I constantly use the desktop. So I go desktop, bucket, click on that. There it is. So we can sc uh, scroll in. Whoop, hang on, I got a phone call. Um, no worries, it was a salesman. Oh, let's see, let's go back. No, I, somehow I, I must have bumped a button when I got up but this is the the UV map image editor so to get back to where you were is this little icon here and it gives you these selections and you just 3d view okay so and I'm not sure what I hit when I got up but okay we want to build a headache rack now when you um, move around in Blender you use the middle mouse button but you just use the middle mouse button to rotate and if you want to go side to side perpendicular shift and middle mouse button okay and then zoom in and zoom out So we have I want to get square to the object. Now you can either just eyeball it the best you can or you can use the keypad. There's ortho and perspective. Ortho is going to line you up straight on. And then you can rotate using that's no. Oh, I must have hit the wrong button. There we go. So it's ortho and I must have had I must have hit the number 1 key or something. But there is straight on square view to the side. And you can rotate it with the uh, number six on the keypad. 
to where that's square on um, to the back. Okay. There's square on on the right hand side. So that's how you can get you are perfectly square. So if we want to build a headache crack that will extend from here to here, because let me go out on the internet real quickly and we'll search images for John Deere grapple bucket images. This is the uh, This is basically the grapple bucket that I was going for. So it just fits between the arms. Okay? So it does not extend to the side. I mean, here's one that shows that it that it is. There's there's yet another view of another one. And at the reason for that headache rack is when you pick up round bales. <laughs> and you tilt them back, the headache rack prevents the bale from falling backwards and over the bucket. So, it really comes down to what do you want. There's another picture. This is just the grapple attachment for a bucket. Which that's pretty nice looking grapple attachment. That's not a John Deere though. That's it's for a John Deere, but that's not a John Deere brand. They would never have put that uh, graphics on the So that's really what it comes down to is what do you want? Because hell maybe you um, maybe your farm uh, didn't have a grapple bucket headache rack and you just built one you know so I guess pff, I, don't know, I would go with this one because this one and this one were, were basically the ones I was shooting for the bucket itself doesn't quite match 100% this has a flat top on it and I I didn't notice that until afterwards. That the stole, the S T O L L, stole or stall grapple bucket does not have a flat top. And I'll show you. I'll just go to the side. See? We could um, square that out, though. We could go to. Uh, First, you have to select the object by right-clicking on it, and then we go to edit mode, and it selects everything. So let's unselect it. Let's go select the faces. These three boxes down here is you have your vertexes. The vertexes are all the corners, everywhere the points meet in the corner. The edge select is all these edges, every line, and then the face select. Um, puts a dot in the center of every face. Now the orange dot is the origin of this bucket and that is fine where it is at because this um, yeah we, we, I don't know how best to explain it. it it's fine the way it is. So if we go in here and we we want to select these two faces for this top to flatten this top out. I'm just I'm just experimenting here. You pick up or you get this circle by clicking on C on your keyboard and you can adjust the size of that circle with scrolling your mouse button. So we just want to go here cuz that's going to click both of those faces and you left click. Okay? Now to manipulate that you have an option. Now you can rotate it, but you need to rotate it on a particular axis. So if you click R and then you can select X, Y, or Z. Well I'm not sure if this is 
it's not x because x would rotate side to side it might be z perpendicular up, uh, um, up and down and I think it is nope so let's see it'll rotate on that axis but we don't want that so let's try y and it's not that either so and it was x it was so if you if you get confused and you just oh I don't want that that's not what I wanted just hit the right mouse button and it takes it back to the last so let's see the best way to do this would be hmm. you know maybe not selecting the, the the faces per se but maybe just selecting that edge so let's try that so we're gonna hit C again but instead of left clicking we're gonna middle mouse button and it unselects it now we want to go down here to the edge select and we want to select just that edge so that's selected now we want to G and you can move it around but G's not going to get it done for us so let's try R that's not going to work either S no. There's a lot of hotkeys for <laughs> Blender, and to know them all is you'll you'll start to remember them as you use them more. But as of right now, I can't really remember which hotkey I need. Maybe it's Control B. So, when in doubt, just right click and uh, abort, basically. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to end this portion of the tutorial here because we got the. Uh, we got it out of Giants Editor by exporting as a wavefront object. We've imported it as a wavefront object into Blender. And then. I've shown you some of the um, navigational tools that you'll use to navigate. So we'll leave this video at this point, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start building the headache rack, and then we'll pick it up on the next tutorial with version two or episode two of this. So I hope you guys have a good day. Hit like if the video was helpful. Hit subscribe if you want to watch more. And um, leave a comment. If, uh, if you have a specific question about Blender, uh, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Keep on farming, and uh, we'll catch you later. Later.